This is the answer key to the first video analysis assignment. Let's insert the video. of the constant buggy run. Here's the video. Let's turn on the video analysis tools. This looks small because on my screen I've set it up so that you can see my smiling face. I'm going to click the add point tool and I'm going to scrub ahead in the video until I see the buggy starting to move. And really all I'm looking for here is a general picture. Plus or minus a few frames. There we go. Okay, the buggy looks like it's right now about at the very beginning of the line. You want to pick a fixed point on the buggy, which I think the tutorial pointed out. I'm going to key off of this headlight here. Every time you click a point, it's going to move the to the next frame. Ideally, you want to analyze the entire clip for the sake of time here and not watching me click 400 points. I'll just get a few more. Let's see, I have 12. I'll go up to 20 points. Now what you might notice about my points as I place them is while I'm trying to hit the same point on the headlight every time, it's a reference, I might be moving up or down a little bit while the buggy actually is not moving up or down. We're going to ignore that at the end. There, now I've got 25 data points. Okay, I'm done collecting data. I'm going to actually take this picture and shrink it down so it gets out of my way. Here's the graph I get. The first thing I want you to notice is here, I'm looking at both the x and the y coordinate. Now what the heck is that? Why is this one called y almost a horizontal line? And this one called x, they're the same color, look like it's a linear function but it's going uphill. Well, I came over here and was looking at this table trying to figure that out and what I realized was that I have time in seconds, that's the x-axis of your graph. I have an x and a y, a vx and a vy. Well, what the heck is with that? I realized that x and y are the coordinates of the dots on my graph. Remember I said earlier the dots are sometimes going up and down a little bit I don't care about any vertical motion, so I'm actually going to ignore that in my graph. It makes sense that it's not moving up and down much. My buggy wasn't moving up and down much. I'm going to click here on this picture of the Y. It offers me up opportunities of what it wants to see on the graph. I only want to show the X coordinates. And now I see this nice linear function. I ask you this, what kind of graph is this? The Y axis of the graph is position the x-axis is time. This is a position time graph. That means the slope of this beautiful line of red dots is going to be the velocity of the buggy. That was one question I asked you at the beginning. What is the velocity of the buggy? Let's do a linear fit. What I notice here, the slope will give me the speed of the buggy. 315, what the heck does that mean? Oh yeah, I forgot an important step. This is legit, kids. I'm not doing this just for uh, your benefit. We need to scale this image. So I forgot to put the ruler on here. Now, I did this very intentionally when I recorded the video. I put a ruler behind the buggy. So I'm going to um, click on the ruler tool, and I need to find uh, two reference points in the image that are a known distance apart from each other. Now it's important that I don't choose something on the far wall like the width of the window because while I do know that distance or could easily measure it, it's not in the same plane as the buggy. Perspective makes that distance, uh, though actually larger in real life, appear smaller. I need something on about the same plane. So I'm going to look in here real close. The ruler on the track has red marks every 10 centimeters. There's one. Oh yeah, click and drag. Alright, so I'm looking for two points on here, 10 centimeters apart, and that'll work. It says how far apart are these two points? I'm going to say 0.1 meters. Now let's go back and look at my graph. The question was, how fast is the buggy moving? And I had some ridiculously large number before. That was because the image wasn't scaled. It was giving me an answer, probably in pixels. 
Now I get the answer in units. Notice the units have been added to the slope here. About 0.4 meters per second. Hey, not bad. That's how fast the buggy's going. Um, notice that the video analysis also gave me velocity uh, information. Do these velocity numbers, the VX numbers, line up with the um, slope of the line I just saw? Yeah, these are all about 0.4. You notice that the velocity looks like it's fluctuating up and down a little bit, but all the numbers are around the 0.4 neighborhood. That completes the video analysis of the buggy tutorial, or of the buggy assignment. You should get a uh, velocity of the buggy of about 0.4 meters per second. Now what do I want you to do with this? I want you to drop it into the Word template, video analysis template. I'm going to open that up to show you the whole stem to stern what I'm asking you guys to do. We're waiting on Word to open. Okay, I just did the buggy run analysis. Analyze the buggy run. Screenshot the end of your analysis. Tell me the average velocity of the buggy. So let's go back over to Logger Pro. Um, Control Command Shift 4 is a nice little screenshot tool. Control Command Shift 4. Get all that pertinent information. The velocity is approximately 0.4 meters per second. Paste that image in. I've answered the question that was asked of me here, average velocity, and I've pasted a screenshot that, by the way, includes all of my data. I want you to do the same thing with the soccer and tennis ball, except this time I want you to tell me the average acceleration and the maximum velocity. Think about that for a moment. When is the velocity going to be at its maximum? You need to figure that out. Thanks for watching. Please get this done. If you have questions, please email me. I don't want you to go past Wednesday not having this assignment done.